where can we find you in terms of Got You For Life, but also your social media platforms? Yeah, I mean, I've realised how important social media is, you know, since I've sort of taken it a bit more seriously, you know, I've got over 100,000 followers now on Instagram. That's um, And then there's Twitter and there's LinkedIn and there's Facebook, of course. And Gotcha For Life has their website, gotchaforlife.org, which has lots of tips and tricks to be able to help people. So hopefully your listeners of the podcast might be able to go there and share some stuff and to hear and to see some stuff. So I mean, it's all about educating yourself at the end of the day. Like what I try to do is just try to make it as normal as possible talking about this stuff because we're human beings. We're used to having ups and downs, good times and bad times. So let's sort of try to roll with the tougher times a little better and let's also enjoy the good times a little better as well. We've got to be able to to enjoy ourselves as much as at times sort of suck it up and really work through stuff. But it's so much easier to do that, Hayden, if you've got a bit of a team around you, what I call your village. You know, work out who your village is. Who are your village? Who are the people that you love and adore and you cannot imagine living without? And are you sharing your stuff with at least one of those people? And are you checking in on those people enough? Are you spending a little bit of time every day just sending them a text message saying, thinking of you, hope you're having a good day. Like, don't take those relationships for granted. It just slowly but surely builds, I think, a stronger relationship and a deeper relationship. And that's what we need. All the people that I speak to that have tried to take their life and they're still with us, which is a huge amount of people for me in my life, they didn't want to die, Hayden, but they were tired and they were they were really, really in pain. So if you combine tiredness with pain over a long period of time, of course, you're going to end up making a shit decision. So if you can share what's going on in your life as you're going through that process, then people will be able to put their arm around you, give you a hug, take you out of that situation, get you in front of a professional, share how you're truly feeling, have those emotional moments with someone, and you'll soon realise that you're not alone. There's so many people out there doing exactly the same thing. So if you normalise it, you go, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to get the help that I need. And if you get the help that you need, then you will be able to get through the type of stuff that life throws at you. But it's so much more difficult if you worry alone, you never tell anyone how you truly feel. Um, You can end up making a really, really permanent decision based on a temporary situation. 